afternoon, guys. How are you guys doing? Good, good. Omar is here. Liana, Rocio, Hiromi, Leila, Jesus, Myrna, Estefania, and Omar. Okay, Noah is joining us. Okay, guys, we are going to dissect the starfish. So, <clears throat> I miss McKittrick. So we're going to do this, okay? Here, um, you guys will need a really stronger pair of scissors to cut the starfish from the pack and get it onto your tray. We'll do that later. We'll give you time to do it later, okay? So what I would like you guys to do now is please write your student ID next to your names if you do not have it already, do that. Thank you. I think most of all of you guys have that. That's great. That's really nice. Valerie is joining us. Okay. Good afternoon, guys. Hopefully you guys had a good few classes in the morning and then you had a great lunch. And here we are today doing going to dissect starfish. So this is how it's going to go. <clears throat> Hi, Valerie. Hi, Noah. So we're not going to wait to chat about anything much. We just go back into straight into our lesson today because we'll need some time because Ms. McKittrick has a beautiful video later that to, for you guys to watch. So if you're done with the dissections and everyone shares their experiences of the dissection, then we can watch that video more about knowing about this great animal here, okay? So hi, Janina. Good afternoon. Okay, before we go into the dissection, uh, before you guys get the specimen out of your, um, you know, the pack into your tray, I would like to tell you guys something. We want to talk about this animal. Don't Google. If you guys know anything about starfish, I would like to know what you know about a starfish. Anything that you know. Don't Google, don't go and search on the net. If you guys know anything about starfish, I would like to know that. If you can tell me, that'll be great. Lives in ocean, great. Uh, you guys can just uh, unmute and talk. That'll be better, but if you cannot, put it in the chat. Ooh, they can regrow their limbs. And is it an animal? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Five arms. Mm -hmm. Okay, five arms. I know it has to walk a flat on a to flat to walk a flat surface. Okay. Okay, it's a mouth. Is it in the center? Yeah, yeah, it's in the center. Yes. Okay, so now do not worry about going to into the pack to remove it and all because you guys have to do it um, by a sink under water because when you got and you'll need another knot, don't do it now. You will need a strong pair of scissors, not the ones that you guys have for dissection. You, get, you will need a strong pair of scissors and then that will let you cut through the packaging and then get it out. Once you get it out, you have to rinse it under water for a few minutes. And if you can pad dry it with a uh, paper towel, that'll be great. So just let's wait for that, okay? Just let's wait for that. Uh, you, you wear a pair of gloves if you're not comfortable handling it, but if you're comfortable, it's okay to handle it bare hand, okay? Uh, so here, yeah, you guys gave us some good really insight about um, starfish. They said, I can't hear anything. I'm, okay, yeah, Valerie, you can do that. Its mouth is in the center. Yes, it's in the center. And someone put it out there that it can regenerate. It can grow. If it loses an arm, arm or a ray, it's either called an arm or a ray. So I have it out here. I'm going to show. Um, it's called, it's called, these are called the arms or rays, okay? We'll talk more about it in a minute. So before we get into the dissection part, I want to talk to you guys a little about it and then we'll get into the dissection, okay? So this uh, is not a fish. We call it starfish. It's found in the oceans. We have 6,000 varieties. Uh, like it belongs to a phylum called Echinodermata. Echino or Echino is like having spine-like structures on the body. So it's like the body is rough. You guys will feel it. I want you guys to feel it with your bare hands. No, not bare hands, the hands that is under a glove. But if you are comfortable being with bare hands, that's okay too. Feel it and you'll feel it like a sandpaper. Okay, that means it has some kind of spiny, spiky structures on the body. It's not going to hurt you, just feel it. That means it is rough. 
to feel. That's where the term comes from a Greek, it's a Greek term, echines, echinoderm, means rough skinned or having spiny skin animals, okay? And then they're not fish, but we call them fish because we find them in the ocean. And um, it's also called a sea star, okay? Because it looks like a star. So the one that we're going to dissect today, the one that we're going to dissect today only has five arms or rays, but some of them have more than five. Some of them can have eight, 10, 12, depending. There are other species that are bigger and have more arms, okay? And they come in different colors. The one that we see here is having a light, uh, what can you say, uh, you know, dirty pinkish or some kind of maroonish kind of a shade, but they come in different colors, purple, violet, yellow, orange, whatever colors, okay? And then if you guys have been to stores where they sh uh, sell shells and pebbles for your, um, what do you say, your aquariums and stuff, you will find uh, the endoskeleton of starfish. That means endoskeleton is when you leave a starfish out there, outside the water for a long time, the skeleton is inside, but it's like, you know, it'll get, it'll just dry up. And what you have is a rock solid piece uh, shaped structure. It'll be like very hard, like stone. It'll become like a stone. That's endos, the skeleton will dry up and then the whole body, the tissue will dry up and you'll just have the skeleton. It'll be hard, okay? And like you guys said, it can regenerate. Look, let me tell you a small little fact. In olden days, like long time back when people, uh, the clam farmers, farmers who used to uh, farm for clams, you know, what they had is these were a big pest for them. These guys, the starfish love the clams. They eat the clams away. So then the farmers got angry and they would just, you know, whenever they come and see, they see a starfish, they kind of try to kill the starfish by stabbing it or by wounding it, you know? And in that process, they may cut the starfish into two or three pieces. They thought, they are thinking in the mind, they killed it. But now one starfish became three or four, depending on the number of pieces it's, it was, you know, severed. So every little piece, if only it has a little part of the central link, the small, the center ring, it'll form another starfish. So it has a very, very profound regenerative process that it, it has in inherits. But that's one thing about the starfish. So you should be very careful. It's not easy to kill those guys, okay? And another thing that you guys should know about a starfish is they kind of, it's a very peculiar way of eating. They spit, they spit their, their, their stomach through the mouth. The stomach comes out through the mouth and then they, when they get a clam, they, the arms with the arms, they open the clam, uh, the clam's shell, and the stomach comes out through the mouth and the stomach juices will digest the clam inside the shell of the clam. And then the stomach goes in to the starfish's body. It's crazy, isn't it? So they eat inside out. That means they push the stomach from the mouth out into the body of the so whatever clam or whatever they're eating. They digest the food inside the shell of the clam there, and then they pull it back into the body. That's one thing about the starfish that you guys have to know. And another thing is they don't have a brain. They don't have a heart. They don't have any blood, okay? But they have some sensory organs, like a sensory things on the arms, like by the, uh, on the edge of the arms, on each arm by the end, they have some sensory things that can sense food, that can sense danger. So these little spots are called the eye spots. They have the tips of the arms. And then there are two sides to a starfish. One side is the side that they have the mouth. That is this side inside the mouth. So it's called oral side. The side that has the mouth is called the oral side. The side that is away from the mouth is called the ab oral side. Ab oral side and oral side, okay? And now, and then on the aboral side, you will find a small little spot. You'll see, you guys will see, it'll be a little spot, like a little thick white or a little different colors, very white spot. That spot is called madriporite. It's a small little structure, sorry. It's a small little structure that lets the water enter to, into the starfish's body, okay? So now you guys got a little idea of it. Now you guys take the starfish, by the sink, open it out, rinse it because the, uh, the, for, the formaldehyde, whatever is in there, different things, it, it caused some kind of, some, some of them felt it was too 
yeah, it was too smelly. It was like not that, they were not happy about it. So rinse it, pat it dry with a paper towel and bring it back onto the tray. Go now. You will need to use a good pair of scissors, a strong pair of scissors. And when you guys come back, we'll do the dissection. Make sure you rinse off that formaldehyde, yo. Rinse, rinse this animal under the running water and pat it dry. It's going to be a little smelly. You have to bear it a little because it's from the ocean. Take it to the um, sink, guys. Tell mom. Over warm water, Miss Kamari. Huh? I used warm water. You I used warm water and then I kind of opened up the middle part so some of the formaldehyde in the legs would like okay, okay. Yeah, if come you, out. You know? Don't use hot water. If you use a little warm water, it's okay, but be careful, okay? Not hot, okay. Uh, yeah. It's okay. It's not going to really fall apart. It's not. You got you good, Lizette? Yeah. Any other questions? You good? Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Can we go do that right now? Yeah, yeah. Go do it now. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. will need a strong pair of scissors to cut it through. Not the pair of scissors that we have. Paper on. towel, too. Yeah. Take paper towel to pat it dry. Emily, do you have your starfish on? Yeah. Take, take it to the sink. Anurada? Okay. Rinse it. Yeah, take it to the sink and clean it up. Put it under the running water for a little so that it'll wash out the formaldehyde because it kind of bothered some kids in the other classes. They kind of felt it a little strong, the smell and the, the, their eyes. It's not for everyone. Some people, we are sensitive, so their eyes were irritated. So we want to take this precaution here. Emily's smart. She's in her garage, so all that, all yeah. the going to exit out. Yeah, yeah. It's going to leave a little small stench there for some time, but it's, it's going to go because the circulation of the air is not going to leave the stench there for long. Those of you guys who just joined us now, Noah, Jalia, Mela, Elena, are you guys, did you guys get the starfish? Are you able to hear to what I'm saying here? Estefania, because I don't see you guys on the camera. You guys are supposed to be, yeah, Jalia and Noah, uh, guys, go and rinse the thing off. You need a strong pair of scissors to cut the bag out and get the starfish out. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Rinse it out, Noah. Excellent. Rinse it, pat it dry, and bring it back to the, uh, put it in the tray. And while you guys are doing that, I think I'm going to go and connect my, because I'm having a little kind of problems with this. Okay, okay, go ahead, Hannah, I, I understand. That's why. Oh, we could, oh, no, it's, there we go, there it is. You see my starfish, isn't it? Yes. Wow, your star, this one came out with colorful. The starfish? Yeah. Oh, okay. My back camera's. Just let me know when they're back, okay, Miss Secretary? Will do. There's still lots of them. Yeah. Working on rinsing it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Rinse it and pat it dry. Marna, you pat it dry, huh? Okay. Okay, there you go. Well, that's like a good girl there. Omar, did you rinse your son? Okay. Lizette, rinse your son. Aliyah, rinse yours. You guys can talk if you can unmute and talk. That's a better way. But if you can, please put it in the chat. Anything if you because we're going after this. As soon as you guys do the dissection, I would like to share. I would like you guys to share your thoughts and what you learned. Estefania, you have your specimen hand. Okay. 
I like Rocio's setup. Hmm. Ooh. We're gonna set up too. Look at that. Dudlin, Melod. Jesus is getting set up. Well, I think we're almost there. Val's Val's coming back. Okay. I don't know. It's um. Taj. Taj. Hat. I think they're not back. Okay. And Lizette's still working. Okay, let's give it padded dry, guys. Oh, I see an elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Layla, got your son oh, ready. Omar, Omar is ready with this thing. Okay. I would I would finish eating and then do. Adriana got hers. You have yours, Adriana. Okay. Awesome. Are you Layla, feeling you it? You have your son. Okay. Great. Great. Mm. Omar called it Patrick. Did you see that in the chat, Miss Kamari? Oh, I didn't. Let me see what she has. Hello, Patrick. Are you petting your Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> She's petting her starfish. Okay. You know me, you have your son? Okay. Everyone ready? Are you all? Shall I dissect now? Oh. I, Is everyone the majority of the students are here. I just don't see Lizette or Noah or Moet. We have new kids joining us. How That's many do we have today, Ms. Lillian? I mean, I think we're, I mean, majority of the kids are here. I think we could keep, we could keep on going. Okay, then. Okay. There's I'll... a couple students that don't have their cameras on because of connection issues. Oh, okay. okay, okay. But it okay. is. Okay, right. there you go. Okay, now listen to me carefully, okay? But first listen to me, see what I'm doing, and then you do it. All of you pay attention to me. I want you guys to first is I want you guys to feel the texture. It's like a sandpaper, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So because it's like a sandpaper, the text, that's why the name Echino or Echino Dermata. This belongs to a phylum called Echino or Echino Dermata. Echines or Echines are like the spines or the spikes on the body. Rough. Okay. Now it has two sides. One side is away from the mouth. This is the side that has the mouth. So it's called oral side. Okay, the oral side, the mouth is in the center. Okay, and the, um, the, the side away from the mouth is called ab oral side. Okay, this side. And then the, the little this little spot here, guys, I want all of you to see that spot here. There's a small spot there. That's called madriporite, madri, all right, that's a little sieve-like structure that lets the water into the body of the starfish. Okay, so now pay attention. Each one is called an arm or a ray. This starfish has five arms or rays, but there are starfishes that if starfish is not a fish. We just call it a fish because it's in the ocean. These are found only in the ocean. We cannot see starfishes in fresh water or on land. We can't see them. They come in different colors. They are carnivores. They don't eat on plants or anything. They just eat or feed on animals. Like mostly they love mussels and shells. The shellfish is what they love to eat, okay? They use the feet, grab the shellfish, open it up, and then the stomach comes out of the mouth and goes into the clam and then digest the clam there and the stomach is pulled in back in. So I'll try, I'll try to show you the stomach and everything. So pay attention. I want all of you to pay attention, listen. So here, when you open up the arm like this, when you open up the arm like this, what you see inside, if you can feel it, it'll be a little kind of smooth. Those are the feet called podia. The feet, and they're called tube feet. There are many of them. Each arm has, is having many tube feet that helps the starfish move. Every arm has a lot of tube feet inside, okay? At the end, 
they have sensory spots called the eye spots. They're not having eyes, they don't have a nose, but they can figure out using this eye spots. Every arm has an eye spot. So they can figure out if there is a clam nearby, they love clams. They can sense it with this eye spot and they can, they'll go towards the clam. They can sense danger also through the eye spot, okay? So here, they do not have a brain. They do not have a heart. They do not have any blood. The water enters in through this madriporite. It goes into the body. It circulates through the whole body. And then the, the tube feet, there are so many tube feet here. Every tube feet looks like a dropper, you know, the ink dropper or the filler. So if you guys have anything that you guys, a serums that you guys use comes with a filler kind of a, uh, um, you know, the lid comes with a filler like that. The top of the filler is kind of a little thick. The bottom is thin. So the two feet looks like that. The water enters through this madriporite, this little thing here. It goes inside the thing called a stone canal. From the stone canal, it goes into a small ring-like structure called the radial canal. From the radial canal, it goes into the tube feet, into the feet. And the feet, the top one will, uh, it'll kind of uh, expand with water. Expansion and compression will make the starfish move. Okay, see what I'm going to do now. Pay attention to me. I'm going to go with one of the, one of the arms. I'm going to dissect one arm, any arm. It's okay. I'm only, we're only going to dissect one arm. So I'm going to see what I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing, and then you guys will do. I'm going to cut off the tip. So I get a, I'm going to cut off the eye spot. That's what I'm going to do here. Cut off the eye spot, and then I'm going like this. I'm not going to do it from the middle. I'm going to do sideways where I can open it up, okay? If you wait for me, that's okay. Or if you want to do it with me, that's okay too. But pay attention what I'm doing here. I'm going to open it up from both the sides, okay? So I cut it here. I'm going to cut this side too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, the smell. Yep. Yeah, it smell smell is kind of a little uh, Wait, it, open it. a little crazy. The smell, anything from the ocean is going to smell really bad. And it has been in this liquid for long. And I want you guys to feel when you cut through, you you feel like you're cutting through a sandpaper. That is because it has an endoskeleton. Endoskeleton is made up of all these ossicles, the calcium deposits. I know it's going to stink. Guys, it's going to smell, uh, it's different. And then now listen, pay attention all of you, please look, look. See when I opened up, see this, see this? Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, that is the digestive glands. So what I'm gonna do is when I open it up like this, whatever you see on the top is the digestive glands here. I'm going to open, I'm going to cut that and then show you. These are the digestive glands here, they're smooth. If you touch it, it's smooth, okay? These are the digestive glands that help in secreting the enzymes that go into the stomach, okay? But we cannot tell the difference between uh, female or male starfish because they don't, they, they don't have any specific differences from the outside. When they're ready to make babies or release the sperms or eggs, we can see another structure by this glands, different colored ones, but we don't see it. That means this is not the time. When they capture this, starfish, they were not uh, having eggs or sperm. That's why we don't see those gonads, okay? We don't see them for that, that matter. So these are, the, these are the CK or the ones that secrete the enzymes, the pyloric CK that secretes the enzymes for the, uh, for the food to be digested, okay? So pay attention. This is, uh, every arm is going to be just like that. And now what I'm going to do is pay attention. I'm going to cut it through the whole thing like this. I'm going to cut the whole thing out, the center part, okay? And I want to show you guys the stomach. That is, that will be spit out every time it's going to eat something. The stomach is what it's going to be spit out of the mouth. So I'm going to cut this through like this completely. And then I want to show you guys the stomach. It'll be attached to the top. Okay, pay attention here. I want all of you to pay attention, please. So see, when I pull that, there is this tissue thing that is at attached. You see that attached thing? All of you, yes or no? 
when I'm pulling this, this one attached, that's the stomach. Okay? So that is the one that comes out of the mouth and it's pad out. So once you see that, cut the whole thing open and then take it out. Take it out. And then I want you guys to see the radial symmetry, the, the little circular thing inside. I want you guys to see that round thing inside. So I'm telling you, if this guys, if you cut, if one of the limbs is broken, but if it has a piece of this round thing here, it will develop another complete animal from that one arm can make another animal. Okay, so now these are, see these are, this is supposed the two feet were supposed to be this side here. The two feet are here, okay? These are the two feet. I want all of you to pay attention. So try to look it under, uh, if you want to use a, please look it under a mic, uh, uh, you know, get yourself a magnifying lens and try to look through that, the two feet. I forgot to ask other kids to do it. Look at the two feet. They're smooth. If you touch them, you feel they're smooth. You have many two feet. Every ray has many two feet, okay? And this side, this is the, this is the canal, the radial canal, okay? The radial canal. And this one here is the ring canal, the inside one, like a ring here, this one, feel it, it's hard. The ring canal, or you just take out the thing so you can see the ring canal here. I'm gonna pull everything out so that I can show it to you guys. See that, it's like a star inside the ring canal, yes? Are you able to see it? We are able to see it. Yeah, that's the ring canal. You can really see, it's literally a ring, y'all, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if, if, if the starfish loses a limb or an arm with a small piece of this ring, it can develop back into another starfish. So this is, see the water gets into the body through the madriporite, and then, then that it has a tube called stone canal. From the stone canal, it gets into the ring canal, from the ring canal, it gets, the water gets into the radial canal here, okay? From here, it goes into the two feet, here, the two feet. And the two feet will like expand with water and contract, and that's how the starfish moves. Okay, guys? That's how it moves. So I, want you guys, I wanted you guys to feel this, this ring canal. It's so beautiful, it is out inside like a ring. So this starfish has five arms, but there are starfish with more than um, five. There are some with eight, 10, 12. They come, come in different colors. Some of them, they're predators. They eat uh, only flesh, you know that. So they eat anim other animals, mollusks, and mostly mollusks. Okay, mollusk is shellfish. So here, look. So I want you guys to feel that. And look at all these things, like the grooves and all, the grooves here. I want you guys to feel everything, this little structures, the grooves. This is where the whole of the elementary canal, or not, no, can, no this is not elementary canal, the digestive CK are laid. It's beautiful, this little pipelines. See this pipelines, feel it with uh, some kind of, with the force up or anything that you have, or the scissor, feel it. So that is the dissection. If you have, guys have any questions, you can let me know. Uh, the mouth, so I'm telling you guys, the mouth from here, inside here, listen. It goes from here, it goes from here. See, I'm gonna put this through the hole. It goes from here, the mouth goes from here, outside like this, okay, like this. It goes out through this, the st so, sorry, the, the stomach. It goes from here into through the mouth, outside like this. It comes out like this and enters the body of the clam and then it digests the clam in the clam's body and after it's done, the stomach is pulled inside like this, okay? The stomach comes out of the mouth, gets into the body of the clam and digests the food there, and it's pulled out like this. It comes back into the body. Miss Kamari, the stuff that was like on top of that circle, that's the stomach that pops out, right? Yes. Yes. Whoa. The stomach has two bag-like structures. Uh-huh, the, the smell just hit one of the students. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know, it, 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 some things you should, it'll, it'll come and splash on your body, yeah. Walk away if you need to, honeys, walk away. Yeah, go to the sink and try to, to clean okay. up. Listen yeah. to your bodies. <laughs> yeah, see, look at the ring, guys. Look at the ring, how beautiful it is. Omar, are you seeing it, Han? 
yeah so that ring is beautiful here if if the if the limb is broken and one part of the ring is there a small little piece is there it can grow back into another starfish <laughs> it's really pretty just smelly <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, how cute is that color? You guys can show yours when you're done. Look at that. Miss McKittrick is showing her ring, that ring canal. That's a ring. I broke some of the bones. And that's it felt okay. weird breaking the bone. It Marna, felt... Marna is showing hers. Marna, okay. Show the other side, hon. Your ring Let's canal. Me the hole. There you go. That's your ring canal. Great. And then the, the, the pipelines that run through the ring canal into the feet, uh, into the arms, they are called the radial canals, the little lines here. These are the radial canals. So these have five radial canals, okay? Kiana, are you done, hon? Did you get it? Giliana? Miss, I have a question. Sure. When I was opening the bag, like with the starfish in it, were my uh -huh. eyes supposed to burn? Your eyes are burning? Yeah. Okay, that's why we asked you to rinse. Just leave it and go and rinse your eyes on. Nothing to worry, but just splash some water onto your eyes. Okay. Yeah, that's why we asked you to rinse it. It's like a little strong. Uh, the liquid. Oh, I did rinse it, but like when I was opening the bag to rinse it? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it's strong. They kept it in some strong solution. You know what? These are very smooth uh, things inside. They must have just preserved it so that we, otherwise it'll dry out really quick. That's why they must have preserved it like that. Sorry, guys. But. It's part of the science. Yeah. Uh, now, if the ones who are done, as you guys are dissecting, if you want to talk, like, you know, can you guys please, uh, Tell me about, uh, tell us about your experience one at a time. So let me stop sharing so I can see everyone. Okay, is that good? Are you guys good now? Can I stop sharing? I think, yeah, that's a thumbs up. Okay. That's a nodded head. Stop sharing. <laughs> okay, nodded head. Because we need to talk and we have a good video, Miss uh, McKittrick has a video. We would like to watch that. As you guys are dissecting also, you can talk. Marna, would you like to start, hon? Sure, but what do I say? What is oh, it? Okay. Whatever you want to say. What was your experience dissecting? Did you learn anything new? Um, I didn't know that this thing was. We can't hear you. Okay, then you know what? I think after dissecting, uh, if you guys are done dissecting, if you want to clean your hands or something, then finish that and come and talk. Okay, we'll give you a minute. So it's okay. Just dissect. Take your time. Take your time. Don't be in a hurry. So maybe we can hear from some of the students that just got to watch. Anybody gonna unmute themselves and share like what they thought as they watch? I thought it was pretty cool. What part was the coolest? I think the part where we saw the middle of the starfish, where she lifted everything and we got to see the middle. I think that was, was cool. Yeah, I, I just love the geometry in it. Yeah. Thank you, Shark. Sh Shirtland? I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. It's okay. It's Shirtland. Shirtland. I did have it. Thank you. Thank you. I know. It's pretty cool, but at the same time, kind of gross. What? Okay. What was the grossest part about it, though? It's just cutting it open. <laughs> I'm not used to it. It was cool, but at the same time, disturbing. I know. Disturbing? Yeah, it's like when I broke the when I broke one of the bones in this lesson, I was like, oh, that was that I, I felt that disturbing feeling. I think I know what you mean. <laughs> Thank you, Jade. Okay. 
Uh, Asus, did you share hand? Um, all I can really say is that it felt weird. It felt weird? Okay. Yeah. Did you learn anything new today? Yeah. What? About the anatomy. Did you share one? Huh? About the anatomy. Okay, okay. So that's good. Giliana? Um, watching it was kind of disturbing for me because I don't <laughs> like dissecting it at all. Um, yeah, it just disturbs me. But I did learn how the they eat with the stomach thing. And that, I thought that part was really cool. But okay, yeah, it's disturbing. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so Layla said... <laughs> Layla said, I enjoyed cutting it open. It was kind of satisfying. The smell is awful. Uh, yes. I don't smell because anything from the ocean is going to smell crazy. But and this has been in the solute liquid for this long. So it is going to be smell crazy. I understand. Sorry for the inconvenience because we have to face this when we want to learn new things. Marina, what's your experience, huh? Can you hear me? Yeah, loud. You have yeah. To be Can you hear me? Yes. yes. <laughs> Sorry yeah. about that. Um, well, I'm going to be honest. I didn't think it was going to smell bad because, like, too bad. Because the first time we dissected it, I got used to the smell pretty quickly. It didn't smell. I'll be honest. It didn't smell, but it just burned my nose. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So did you learn anything new today? I'll be honest, I didn't know that they had a spine or like not a spine, but like I didn't know they had endoskeleton. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So say someone put something here. Uh, we need to talk. I learned that if you drag the, uh, see someone who is this? I'll, uh, it's a zero hero me. I learned that if I drag the scissors against it, everything feels different. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Emily said it was fun for me since I really enjoyed dissecting and didn't smell it, but it did burn my nose a little. And I thought it was really cool how they re throw their stomachs out to eat. Yes, that's like the eat outside, inside out. I like it's really cool since it has no blood or a brain, but it's still regenerative. So seeing it, I was like, that was fun. Yes, Mela, that's great, huh? Okay. Nice. Okay, Rocio. If you guys cannot talk because of your mic or you want, don't want to, you can put it in the chat. Yes, Rocio. I thought it was gross. It was gross? Yeah, that's what she said. Okay, okay. Gross. I thought it was cool that, that um, the, uh, the arm, opening up the arm, I thought it was cool. Okay, and, oh. okay. I learned that the stomach. Yeah, about the stomach. So Hiromi also already put it here. So she already put it here, isn't it, Hiromi? Yeah, she did. Okay, then Layla, did you put it in the chat, huh? Where's Layla's comment? Oh, right there. I enjoyed cutting it open. It was kind okay. of satisfying and the smell was awful. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, Layla. Thank you for that comment. But yeah, it's different. Omar, what would you like to say, Han? I'm uh, really enjoying, you know, cutting up, and I didn't know I have an endoskeleton. Uh, endo, yes, yes, okay. That's the one, if you leave it out there, it will dry out, and it will be like rock, solid. Yeah. Mm, rock. Okay. Jade, uh, you put it in the chat, hun? Did you put something in the chat? If you guys put it in the chat, when I call your name, you can say chat, so we look at it. I, I already spoke, but... Uh, okay, okay. If I didn't know that they had bones or that they the way they ate was pretty cool to learn about as well. And it okay. was interesting to know that they don't have brains or mm -hmm. blood. It's okay. Cool. Valerie, did she say something in the chat? Because I'm not knowing if it, uh, who said something in the chat. Um, she, must step, she must have stepped out. Aliyah? I think she stepped aside. Yeah. Aliyah? Did you put something in the chat, Aliyah? 
Okay, she's not, she's writing in the chat. Valerie, yeah. Oh, she's she yeah, Go ahead, Aliyah. Go ahead, Aliyah. I want to say I think it's cool how they don't have. A We're not able to hear you, Han. Oh, I think it's cool how they don't have a brain or a heart. Okay. Uh, we couldn't hear you properly. Can you put it in the chat, Aliyah? Yeah, Valerie. Would you like to tell us something, Han? I thought it wasn't as smelly as like, as you guys were okay. saying, like mine wasn't really smelly, but it was cool opening up the leg, seeing the ring. Okay, okay. So someone put in the chat, who is that? Uh, Alina. Yeah, I think it was all very interesting. I think learning about how the ring can create a whole new topic was really cool. Okay, Aliyah, thank you. I think it's cool how they don't have a brain or a heart. Okay, yeah. Okay, Jade, did you get to, oh, she talked already, I think. Okay, I'm sorry. Lizette? She must have stepped out. Janina, did you put anything in the chat, hon? Or you can tell, tell us. Oh, I think it's really smelly and I didn't know it would burn my eyes, but it did. But oh. I think it's really cool that they don't have like hearts and brain and blood, but they mm -hmm. don't have So yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Hanarada? Um. I think it was really cool that because of the ring in the middle, I knew that they could regenerate, but I didn't know that they did that. And with the stomach, I didn't know that the stomach came out. I thought they had okay. a beak, like a squid or octopus. Okay. Annalyn? Um, I was pretty interested by the fact that they were kind of like, not really hard, but like, a little stiff I I don't know I just I felt weird touching it because I thought it was going to be like softer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I thought it was like pretty interesting like like the stomach part okay and like their bones yeah okay Emily did you put anything in the chat or you would like to tell us okay Tajay put it in the chat that it was actually fun to open up the starfish and it's kind of smelled and seeing the ring was actually pretty cool. What was actually interesting is that they don't did not have any organs, especially a brain. Kind of got me thinking if they just move on instinct. Uh, they have sensory powers and they have that ice pod that has the sensory things. Yes, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, Emily. Thank you. Thank you, Han. Estefania. Did you, if you put in the chat, just tell chat. I'll look into that. Yeah, Emily said it was fun for me since I really enjoyed dissecting and I didn't smell it, but I okay. did through my nose a little, that one. Okay. Uh, Estefania put it in the chat. She said we have to look for the chat. And you can look and read, Miss Mechatrick. Yeah, she said, uh, Estefania said, I think that the circle in the middle was interesting. Okay, okay. Shetlin? I know, it's sad as the last one. But I already said, talked. I already talked. Thank you, Han. Yeah. Anna? Thank you, thank you. Adriana? Did you tell it's us? In the chat. In the chat. Okay, Ms. McKittrick will look at it. Jalia? Did you put anything in the chat, huh? No, but yeah. I really yeah. liked how like this look as a whole and the ring was really interesting. Oh, okay, okay. Lisa said it was interesting and how the starfish eats at school. I did not know that. Okay, Lisa, thank you. And thank you, Han. Thank you, Jalia. Noah? Did you put anything in the chat, Noah? Uh, I think uh, it was interesting how they have uh, spots on their arm called eye spots, and that's how they see things. Okay, okay, good. And then Melad already put in the chat, I think we read what about that, uh, okay, if you can, we can get that and read it again. I think it's really cool since it has no blood or brain, but it's still regenerative. So seeing and uh, is that seeing and organs like that was fun. Okay, Melad. So everyone got a chance to tell their views. So now that's, thank you guys. Um, now Ms. McKittrick has a really cool video. Let's watch that, okay? And then it's like something more, like I'll retrace what we were talking or doing. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Awesome. And 